No ping is a scam. One scam, software scam. that was yep, scared. The next negative review as scammed so and a scam. Scary. And then all the reviews scam. were bad. Okay, and I just now you can kind of be involved see. in that. So I just completely avoided it. But guess what? <laughs> Hi, this is Crisis, and welcome to Low End Gaming. Today, in this video, we will find if No Ping, a famous software amongst gamers, which reduces ping, increase FPS, and fix lag in just few clicks. It really works, or just another bullshit <laughs> software. Before, starting with the video, let me be clear that, this video will be fully honest, and this video is neither sponsored by no ping nor this is a paid promotion. Even though they provided me a full access to their software, but that's it. My motive is not defaming anyone, it's simple if the software works, it works, and if it does not, it does not. In the end, it's on you if you want to use the software or not, my job is just to tell if it is worth it or not. So, let's get started. There are many features available in the software, but our main focus will be only on the two major features, ping and FPS. So, keeping that in mind, to test the software, we will use Fortnite. For two reasons, the game needs a good ping with good FPS for good gameplay experience. In simple language let me tell you how ping works. There are three parts to this, first is you, from where you are playing games. Second is your ISP or internet service provider route, through which your internet travels to the game server. And the third and the final destination is the game server. So, basically if the game server is close to your physical location and your ISP has efficient routing, you'll experience low ping. However, if the server is far away or your ISP uses poor routing paths, your ping will be higher, even if the server is technically in your region. The best ping results occur when both the game server is nearby and your internet provider offers stable, direct routing. No ping claims that, using their advanced technology, they reduce your ping, no matter where you are and your game server is located. Let's find out if that really is true or not. This are my PC specs on which I am testing the software. I will not show you right now, how my game works without using no ping. Just keep watching because the results are crazy. So, it is easy. Open no ping, search for the game you are playing. And select it. Now you will see two options recommended and by country. Don't choose by country, always go for the recommended. Now, select the server with the lowest ping and click on optimize game and you are done. Wait, before playing the game, we will also apply FPS tweaks which are provided in the app. Go to FPS section and here you will find many tweaks. So, for the sake of this video, I will literally turn on all the optimizations for the maximum performance. Not recommended for you guys. Before changing the settings make sure you turn on the backup, so that you can recover the changes if something goes wrong. So, all the tweaks are applied to play our game. Now, just open your game and see the changes. Now I will show you two gameplay clips and you have to guess which one is with no ping and which is without no ping. You have 10 seconds. Time's up. I really don't need to say anything, you have everything in front of you. The ping and the FPS. Before, without using no ping, my game was initially running on high and unstable ping, but after some time, the ping become lower and the game was stable. You can see the stats. And the FPS was also smooth, even though with FPS drops, the game was smooth to play. Now, after turning on and optimizing the game using no ping, the game was running on around the same ping, but was little bit more stable. There were no massive ping fluctuations or packet losses as before, but still it is not that much of change. And the FPS was sometimes, 60 then jumped to 100. There were massive FPS jumps. But, without no ping the game was running smoothly on constant 100 frames per second. I did experienced FPS drops and stutter when there were packet loss or ping fluctuations. But for the most part the game was playable. So, to tell you in simple words. No ping, didn't lower my ping but for sure it made my ping stable, and the packet losses were decreased. And for the FPS part, it was not that good, the game gave higher FPS before but I will agree that the game was smoother when I turned on no ping. So, guys we are done with the test. Now, it's your choice whether to use this software or not. Hope you enjoyed this video and this is my conclusion.